Ready, steady, go. Israel's election race enters its next phase. Party name, party leader, and who is on the list. The deadline for submitting lists of parties and candidates to the Central Election Committee expires on February 4th, meaning there are only days left for parties to agree on mergers and unions. Each elections, but perhaps this time in particular, unions of smaller parties across the political landscape are essential to avoid quote-unquote lost votes, meaning votes for parties that do not make it across the electoral threshold to enter parliament in Israel's proportional representation system, which stands at 3.25 percent of the overall votes and so are wasted. But that's not all. Until February 23rd, appeals can be filed against parties or specific candidates in a bid to prevent them from running. According to Israeli law, such a disqualification can be made if the party denies the character of the state of Israel as a Jewish and democratic state, if the party incites to racism or supports a terrorist organization or enemy state in the, quote, armed struggle against the state of Israel. In recent years, such appeals have been made against the far-right Jewish power party or members of the Arab ballot list. Decision on appeals will be handed down on February 28th. The official and final publication of the list of candidates take place only nine days before the elections on March 14. But politics waits for no one, and by then, the campaigns will be in full gear.